Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm just going to give you some information that is so important that you had to know, okay? Especially because you can have, you can waste a lot of time checking phones that maybe don't going to have any solution, okay? I'm going to show you the problem. This uh, phone is an iPhone 13 Pro Max that come to my shop with the problem, with this problem, okay? I'm going to put you right here. Uh, 2, 72, 25, 62, okay? This phone have signal, okay? This phone, see, have signal, okay? If I go and make a, a call, for example, this one, I'm going, we're going to see that we are, okay? So this phone can make calls, okay? Receive signal, but the problem with this phone is don't have data, okay? So don't have internet, see? Is just saying Tigo, Tigo without any, uh, without any data, okay? Without, uh -huh, data. And then if we uh, try to get the serial number, we get the serial number, okay? So here is so important to understand one thing. When I'm going to turn on my my iPad, when you are doing, when you are doing uh, iPhone uh, for. Um, uh, radio frequency problems you can have two problems okay you can have two problems let me show you which one you can have two problems for example you can have number one number 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 one okay you can have a problem in the logic part remember the logic part we have a voltage okay voltage we have the baseband baseband okay we have the EEPROM the EEPROM Okay, we have the WTR and we have some clocks. Okay, clocks. Okay, now we have our PMU RF that is going to send power for our baseband. Baseband need to have some clocks and the baseband need to have the EEPROM right here. And the baseband need to talk with the CPU. Okay, if we have all this working when we dial this we are going to get the serial number okay so that means all this information also we have here the wtr okay the wtr uh tag with the baseband so if we dial this one and we get the serial number so that means everything all this is it's working fine but if we have a problem that for example we don't have no lte no 5g 3g for example or no service for example no service no service but we have the serial number so the problem can be in the analogic part. The analogic part is this uh, section. We have the antenna, we have the PA, the amplifier for uh, RF, and we can have another thing, okay? All the RFFE, radio frequency front end, okay? So this is the problem when we don't have this, this type of uh, this type of signal okay okay we we had to we had to understand this because it's two sections that we had to work in these phones okay May, sometimes the phone is not give us the serial number so the problem is the in the logic part if the phone give us the the serial number the phone is saying okay baseband is there so don't touch the logic part and we had to work in the uh, antennas and all that kind of stuff okay now the problem right now is this this phone don't have data so this one apply to uh to work we can work in the analogic part i can check the antennas i can check the uh rffe uh, bus with this box or with the one with the with the one with the with the jc button this one okay i can just read and see if one amplifier is not working the problem with this one is I always say start with the easy steps, okay? First of all, check if this phone is not a problem the antennas. Another thing, you can check another uh, SIM card or another, um, another uh, company. And then before you're doing anything, anything with this phone, check if this phone is not in the blacklist in some uh, country. For example, this one, if you see, this one is the phone that I'm checking right now. This one say is a reporting lost. 
Okay, so this phone is reporting low, so that's why I don't have data in this phone. So I can spend four hours in this phone trying to trying to see if I can fix it and never going to have solution because this one is reported. I'm just giving this information to you because sometimes we like a technician, we think everything is on the board and everything we had to uh, have our multimeter, our oscilloscope and everything and start separate the boards. No, 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 no. Start with the easy things, for example, antennas or just checking directly, right? And then antennas and then another SIM card and then another flexor and things like that before we start touching the board. Okay, I'm just going, I'm just making this video to save you some time and just I uh, share this video because this information is value for our, our community. See you next time, amigos. Adios.